Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is complex number multiplication. A complex number can be represented as a string on the form real plus imaginary i, where real is the real part and is an integer in the range of negative 100 to 100, and imaginary is the imaginary part, same thing. Now i squared is equal to negative 1. Given two complex numbers, num1 and num2, return a string of the complex number that represents their multiplications. So if we're given two numbers, two strings and their imaginary numbers, uh, what we're going to do is essentially multiply the first real numbers together, subtract the multiple of the imaginary, because we know the i is always going to be there, right? And i squared is going to be equal to negative 1. So whatever the multiple of, let's call this b and d is, we'll subtract that from the multiple of a times b. Now, the remainder of i that's going to form is going to be what? a times d plus b times c. So really it's just a matter of how do we split this up uh, and create these variables. Uh, and luckily we know that the format's always going to be the same. There'll always be a plus and there'll always be an i. Uh, whether there's a negative in front or not really depends on what is given to us. So what we'll do is we'll have a and b. Uh, we'll split this with num1. We'll split it by the plus symbol because that will always be there. And we'll do the same with num2, but we'll do this for c and d. Now, one thing to note is I'm going to still have this i here inside of b and d, so I'll just get rid of that. I'll just do it simply and say, uh, just go all the way up to the negative f1, and d will say d go all the way up to the negative 1 right here. Okay, so now that we have the numbers, uh, what we'll do is generate uh, the values that we need. Uh, x, I'll this will be what int of a times int of uh, c, right? And so that's the real part. And the y part is going to be what we subtract also here. This will be uh, int of b times int of d. Now the remainder that we get one part, this is the imaginary part. This one's a little bit more complicated. We have to say a uh, times int of d plus int of b times int of c. So now we have everything that we need. We'll just get our real and imaginary part. Real is just going to be uh, the x subtracted by the y, and the imaginary part will be uh, z that we calculate. So really all we need to do now is just return it in the string format that we want. Uh, this would be, let's see, the real part plus the imaginary part i, so r is equal to real, and i is equal to i m. And let's make sure this works. Okay, let's go ahead and submit that. And accepted. So time complexity, I'm not totally sure. I think it's constant space, but I'm not sure what that value is. But I, I don't really think that's the main part of this question. It's really more about how do we split up these variables, how do we convert convert it to integers, and how do we calculate our final number, right? So that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.